Right. So if you have read and understood, considering it surgical pathology station, kindly tell me what are your differential diagnosis? My differential diagnosis in this patient um, for the hyperparathyroidism the patient has had for, for four years, it could be as a result of um, pituitary adenoma. Then this patient could also be having, um, for the pancreatic lesion, could be having um, pituitary, um, um, pancreatic tumor, which could be insulinoma or gastrinoma. Considering the epigastric pain, it could be gastrinoma. But if I'm um, to tie these um, symptoms together, this patient could be having possibly, um, if it's a syndromic problem, it could be um, men, men, men one syndrome, which is hyperparathyroidism, um, 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 pancreatic tumor. And um, I also expect the patient to have um, 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 Then uh, pituitary adenoma in that okay. case. Okay, all right, good. Yes. So, uh, right. Can you tell me how would you confirm your diagnosis? Okay, um, to confirm my diagnosis, I would, my, to confirm my diagnosis, I want to do, um, mom, is it the diagnosis of, of men one? Dias diagnosis for this patient. Patient has come okay, to you. And you are okay, considering all these differential diagnoses, but how would you confirm them? Okay, to confirm what my diagnosis. What investigations would you ask for? Okay, for to confirm my diagnosis, I would want to do um, for the um, insulinoma to rule out insulinoma. I want to do this uh, the plasma insulin level. I also want to do the, the plasma C um, peptide level, which I expect to be high. Then the, the I also want to do the plasma insulin. Um, glucose level, which I expect to be greater than 0.3. I also want to do um, the endo endoscopic ultrasound to view the, the, the tumor, which is present in the pancreas. Then for, for gastrin, I want to assay the, for gastrinoma, I want to assay the, the pancreatic, um, the serum plus, uh, or the plasma gastrin level, which I expect to be very high. Then I will do the serum um, calcium level, which I expect to be high, and also the parathyroid hormone level, which is expected to be high also right. in this patient. If you do the blood work, blood labs for this patient, what are the what are the alarming things that you'll notice when the, once the reports come back? Okay, the alarming things that, that we notice in this in the blood work in this patient is if the the parathyroid the the calcium level is very high, yes. then the then the insulin level is very high, higher than um, ten uh, micro international units per meal. It it becomes I become very well. Then also I check the blood glucose for this patient. Also, if the blood glucose is very low. I yes. become very worried in this patient. So can you name a few conditions in which patient may present with low sugar level hypoglycemia? Okay, like um, insul insulinoma is one of them, like in, yes. this, in this case, I suspect. Then um, patients with um, liver disease, patients with um, nesidioblastosis, patients with um, inherited um, um, problems with insulin sensitivity will also have low not sugar man. If a patient presents with insulin insulinoma, what would be the clinical picture? How would you know? Insulinoma. In words, yes. What is Wipolstride? Okay, insulinoma is diagnosed with um, uh, Wipolstride. Wipolstride is uh, a, co a constellation of um, a patient who who presents with clinical features of hypoglycemia. And who has fasted or has or had um, an episode of exercise, and this hypoglycemia or these clinical symptoms is relieved by um, administration of glucose, whether orally or intravenously. These three components constitute the glucose. Okay, can you please uh, name the gene mutations in insulinoma? The gene mutations in insulinoma include the MEN1 gene. Um, the uh, P10 gene and the DAX ATRX genes. And inactivating uh, mutations in. And inactivation, yes, ma'am. Two genes. Which two genes? Yes. Can you please tell? 
Okay, the inactivating uh, genes are the um, DAX gene and the ATR um, DAX uh, and the ATRX genes. These are the inactivating genes. What is the function of these genes? Can you explain, please? The function of the, uh, these genes are, are they are they are tumor suppressor genes. They are tumor suppressor genes. Okay, can you tell me what are the two hypotheses behind this uh, condition? Sorry, ma'am, I didn't get that. What are the hypotheses behind this condition? Okay, the hypothesis you, behind yes. this condition. The hypothesis behind this condition is the um, the non two heat phenomenon, which involves which states that um, uh, the first allele, one, the first allele will be knocked off and will be inherited. And um, it will lead to, this is a germline mutation, uh, which will not manifest. Usually it occurs in childhood, but later on there'll be a second hit on the second allele, which will now manifest on particular um, um, cells. In this case, the neuroendocrine um, cells, which will not lead to insulin normal in this case. Okay, how this, uh, this hypothesis affects in case of non-inherited retinoblastoma? Okay, this hypothesis in retinoblastoma, it affects the red oncogene, ma'am. Yes, in case of um, non-inherited, how would that differ? I will get back to this question, ma'am. Okay, can you please uh, tell me, apart from TSG, what are the other groups of gene mutations? Apart from TSC, the other group of gene mutations are the are the men the men the the the, the men okay. gene, Proto men one gene, gene and red or yeah, uh, on chromosome ten. Yes, okay, can you please tell me what is a telomo a telomere? A telomere is a repeat a repetitive um uh, accumulate uh, a repetitive section of the terminal end of the of a gene where repetitive nucleotides are the terminal end of a gene which ordinarily prevents um, attachment and proliferation of genes so as to lead to neoplasm or tumor process uh, process of tumor formation now. okay can you please tell me how would you differentiate between men one and men two condition Men one, men one uh, basically uh, involves um, the pituitary adenoma, yes. pituitary adenoma, parathyroid adenoma, and pancreatic adenoma. Then why men two generally is characterized by pheochromocytoma. Men two has men two A, where there is a medullary thyroid carcinoma, right. hyperparathyroidism, and then um, we also How have the um, men two differ with regard to genes mutation. Okay, main two in main two main two um, involves the red the red oncogene, ma'am. Yes. Uh, what is their mode of inheritance? If you can tell me, main two syndrome, uh, main two condition. What is their mode of inheritance? Autosomal dominant, ma'am. Very good. Okay. Uh, one last question. What should be the management that you can offer to this patient? In this patient, um, if, um, the management, the management, first of all, I want to um, uh, consider the hyperparathyroidism. If the patient have hypercalcemia, I want to stabilize the patient, give the patient um, IV fluid, normal cell line, ensure that the patient is stable, then control the blood sugar level. Um, and then um, if the tumor is causing, if the tumor in the pancreas is causing any um, um, symptom, I can, if it's non symptomatic, I will, if it's non symptomatic, I'll manage medically. Can use them. Um, there are some drugs that can be used, like um, streptozetosin, then yes. for surgery. You use the word medications, not drugs. Drugs are like drugs oh, medication. Are yes. yes medication. Good, very, very good, very good. Okay, one last question. Since we talked about pheochromocytoma, so what are the tests tests available to diagnose or confirm your diagnosis for pheochromocytoma? The, the tests for pheochromocytoma will include both blood, urine, and imaging. For blood tests, I want to do the plasma metanephrine level of this patient, plasma epinephrine and, and no epinephrine level. Then I also want to do the plasma, uh, the plus, uh, the urine, methanephrine, and um, venin mandelic acid level. 
Then yes. I also want to do an MIGB scan for this patient and CT scan to localize the, the tumor. Excellent. Superb. Thank you so much. Charted the timer and here is your question. 